Boats, what are you doing, Boats? Our new goat right there. Hi, Mumble. This is the smallest pool pond you could get. But they got a bunch of aquariums in here now. We are lily pad picking out here. My lily, like the size of my fingernails. I just got small plants. We'll do that one right there. Let's pop them open. Oh, look at that. What is going on, Crows? Welcome back to another video here. Today, as you see right here, everything for this video, all the supplies we're gonna need is to the right of me. We got these little tiny turtles. They're literally microscopic. You'll see them in just a little bit. And we have this pool pond right here. This is where the turtles are gonna go into once we fully build it. This is the smallest pool pond you could get. You literally, this is the smallest one I, I saw. Ages two and up. Just broke that bracket, turned four yesterday. But right here, I'm telling you, it's so tiny. Look at the box it's in. I mean, this is not a sponsored video, nothing. Actually, we do have a sponsor. PC brand, top link in the description. We'll start here. We're gonna set this pool pond up and then uh, move on from there. World's smallest pool pond. Literally. It doesn't look like it's gonna be too hard to build. I've, you know, built the one that I'm now taking apart for the new one that's on the way. And I've built that big old one over there and many more in my past, so. I can honestly probably build this in literally like the flick of a finger. Watch this. There it is. I know I'm standing now, but look at this. I will be honest, I thought it was smaller. I did think it was much smaller than this, but it's still small. Look at it. I mean, it's perfect. Nice and low to the ground. I'm super OCD, I've mentioned it multiple times, so I like things like in order. So I have the pool pond right here, the tub, the other pool pond. It's an old grill if you have to throw out, that's going in the garbage, so it'll be like the slider right here. Tortoise enclosure fits literally perfect. And then over here, that's garbage. This is where our new 15 foot pool pond, so it should come out to like here. It'll take up like all that. Got some rocks there for not only our pool pond build today, but for the Big pool pond as well, lined up along the back patio. And everything that's along this back patio, as you can see, has half shade, half sun during the day. This is like a perfect example. See the line? Enough talking, let's get to building. I'm not gonna put any gravel at the bottom of this pond. Maybe later on in the future. For now, I really do like this blue color. It's, it's a cool bottom. I'll probably sprinkle some gravel here and there. I've got some gravel, I've got our plants, I've got everything we need. I did film, obviously, going to get these plants, and I did buy something else for our pool pond, as well as our pond out there while I was at this pond store, so check it out. All right, we are here right now, and uh, we're gonna get some water plants here. We need some, you know, live plant action in this little pond for the turtles, so we're going in. This is cool. Yeah, mine's bigger than this one, but this is, I love these. It has been, like, a long time since I've been here. Look at these little guys. But they got a bunch of aquariums in here now. Last time they didn't have any of that. Big koi fish. Some big ones over here. There's a lot of koi. These are the koi bins they put in the water. And then they like hand select koi. There's a couple things I want to look at while I'm here. Our main goal is to get the plants, but I want to look at fountains like waterfalls for our duck pond. Check this out. Zula. It's like this taunt moss. I'm trying to get my head out of the light. There it is. See that? That'd be, that'd be really cool. I'm sure it grows so fast that we'll just be throwing this stuff out. I'm gonna get a bag of this, it's only five bucks and we could like, you know, cover some of the surface. We are in the back, of course, smart now. Tubs on tubs. This one looks good. That one's like real filling, you know? All right, cool. I'll get this one. We we'll probably only need like, you know, two of those, maybe one more. This one looks really filling. I like the ones that spread. You know, they have that like spread on them. See, uh, like those two. Over here, we have a couple more different types of plants. See, I'm not a plant guy, so I, I couldn't tell you the names, but a blue flag. That's what that is. <laughs> We're gonna definitely do one of these because it's super wide. They get really big though. Um, so once these do grow big, I'll have to move it. We'll do these three plants and then we'll do some lilies. He's bagging them up and uh, we'll do some lilies. We are lily pad picking out here. Got the one we want. And uh, yeah, it's hot. Especially with these masks on, it's extra hot. The landscape out here is really nice. Got four plants in total. So four plants we're gonna check out. Oh, oh, I gotta show you what I also did order as well. This is really cool. I was over in this side of the store where they have their waterfalls, like, you know, the spouts. And I saw this right here. It has LEDs on it, it spins, it has a nice, you know, I believe it's like 5,000 something gallons an hour. We'll be we pumped through this. This actually just hangs, that's at the top of the water, and it 
has that nice spray with LED lights that change. The cord will then run to the bank where I'll have to run electric and plug an outlet into. Not only will the ducks love it, I'm sure they'll like literally bathe in it, like rinse themselves off, but the fish need the oxygen. Because with this much heat this time of year, it literally sucks the oxygen out of the water and then the fish will die. Not that tilapia are probably gonna die. I just, it looks good. That's really why I'm getting it. It, it looks good. That's the three uh, features it has. So it could look like that. It could also look like that, and it can also look like that. I think that'll be really nice. I already bought the plants and the fountain. As I'm walking out, I see these right here. These are like these massive aerators. The one Robert Arrington has been lending me the entire time. I'm thinking I get two of these too. With these big old stones for not only the pool pond we already have, but the one we're getting in as well, because then we'll have two pool ponds and both of them will have aerators. These things are like pushing air. I mean, I'm talking like, look at that. So. These will be in the middle of the ponds, in the middle of both the pool ponds in the backyard. They're actually plugged into the wall. And if the power happens to go out, say during a hurricane or something, it automatically clicks right onto the battery side of it and it'll keep on pumping. A smart buy, I would say, and a helpful buy. So, they're expensive though. They're dollars a piece, so. All right, we're back in the truck. Got both aerators right there, a little the animals. It is brutally hot outside. All right, we got everything in the truck. Um, with COVID going on, I actually couldn't get the fountain right away. They have to order it and it'll come in, but I did get it, so he'll be texting or calling me and we'll eventually get electric ran out there and then have that thing flowing. I'll make a whole video on that. Make sure you're subscribed if you have not subscribed already so that you get to see all this stuff go down. But uh, yeah, got three different boxes in the back of my truck for today's video. We're making these turtles the dopest pool pond ever. Now to the pet store to get little baby turtles. Door number two. Straight back to the turtles here. And look at them all. This is just one of the tanks. Little musk turtles, little soft shell. They're feeding them. See them eating? My little, like the size of my fingernail. But usually they have a bunch more turtles over here too. Oh yeah, look at them all. Oh yeah. They're all over this thing. How much do they go for? Little yellow belly ciders are only 17 bucks. Similar to the tub, um, there's no light and lamp on it. It has half sunlight, half shade throughout the day. We gotta make sure we get some food as well. Little pellets. All right, here we go. Oh, oh, they're all clear. They're like, heck no, get me out of here. One. Yeah, it works. There's two. There's three. And there is four. Now that we're back from that, we've got turtles. We've got all the pond supplies we need. Let's get to building. Let's see, we've got the flags. We're just gonna put these literally super simple. I mean, one in the corner right here, grab this one, put this one in that corner right there. Keep in mind, these things get huge. So they'll be like up here eventually. I just got small plants for now. We'll do that one right there. So it looks like that. The lilies will go in once water's in. So these rocks over here, we're gonna use to make our little, yeah. <laughs> You know what all this kind of stuff reminds me of? It like, the old days when I used to build stuff in my parents' backyard. Um, I know, mom, dad, you're watching right now. Does this not, like, this is like, brings me back to the good old days, huh? Not that these days aren't good, but you, you get me. Let's get these into here. We're gonna start with this back wall here. That's a perfect rock for the water to meet so they can get up on. These thicker rocks are good levelers. I call them I mean, levelers, you know. I know it looks like a, a wreck right now. I promise you it won't look like that once I backfill gravel in there. But look at this. I made a really dope cave right there, like a straight up like a hole. So that what I just did is called backfilling. So you can see we have our ledge here. We're gonna backfill all this even more than it is already. We're gonna put this little fake fern there. And then we're probably we're gonna do gravel on the bottom just so it kind of feeds off of that. Do some more rock work around here. If you think this looks good, drop a like because it's about to only just get better. What I need to do now is get a little bit more rock, fill that in even more, fill the bottom. Then we'll work on filtration and some more cooler. Ooh. Dropped my camera and I didn't even see it. But check this out. Woo! The coolest part about having something like this is the turtles can come up here on land and actually, you know, walk around. They also have that choice whether they want to swim, land, swim, land, swim, land. I'm gonna make a little cool little corner here that when the sun is in the right spot, that is where they could bask. We could definitely, I didn't know the pool pond was this big. We could definitely get more turtles than four. Comment down below some turtle species that we should get for this pond right here. 
You can see my bigger turtles are like, what the heck is going on over here, huh? Here is our little filter. Literally a micro little filter. Super cool. Anything above like, I would do like at least 100 gallons. Obviously I don't know exactly how many gallons this is, but something over 100 gallons an hour, you'll be good. I also have this bag of black gravel. Now I don't know if I want to use this because it could like throw off the whole natural look. So we're going to put this to the side and if we see somewhere it can go, then, you know, we got them. Time to turn the water on. Woohoo! The best part. And now we watch it fill. Look at that, Kfaros. Holy moly, did that come out good. Much better than I thought, of course. I feel like that's how a lot of things happen. I mean, this is bad to the bone. We got the fake fern right there, the rock ledge. We're probably gonna get fish for this eventually, like little goldfish or mollies or something, but the fish could swim around in the pond area, and then there's also that basking area for the turtles. They could walk up on the land. This flow is like extreme, though. Like, I gotta figure out a way. Maybe put some rocks in front of it and stuff to slow that down just a little bit, especially once we put these lily pads in. Speaking about that, let's, uh, let's put these in. Go. It's like Christmas opening all this stuff. Ready? Boom. Now I gotta fix them up. Alrighty, I have figured out a way to slow down that flow as you can see right there. And then look at that. Our lily pads are in. They're a bit big for this. Maybe I'll go back and get smaller ones and swap them out. That or I'll take them out and just put them somewhere else. But for now, I believe they look absolutely beautiful. But guess what? This is gonna top it all off. Look at this. Oh yeah, let's dump this whole thing in. And by the way, this is like a weed and multiplies super fast, so it's gonna be like overpopulated, but we could just throw it away. There it is. Now it looks realistic. Some of you may be like, oh, that just ruined the whole look. It was nice and clean before. But the goal here isn't for it to just be nice and clean. I wanna make it the most natural it possibly can be, and that makes it top-notch natural. It provides shade when they're underwater, and many, many more things. That plant right there is a big part of this ecosystem right here. All that surface vegetation is gonna be a great filtration along with our filter. Like I said, it won't be so dirty. You see how like, kind of the water is like a little dirt? That'll all get cleaned out, it'll multiply, and I'll start having to take this stuff out literally by hand. But look at it. It looks really, really cool, and the turtles are gonna love it. All right, that's it for the build. You know what the next step is. Turtles going in. Let's pop them open. Oh, look at them. They're so tiny. I mean, they're literally the size of a nickel. First one, going in. There he is, look at him. See you later, bud. Second one. This guy's chill. We're gonna put him right there. Third and fourth. There's three, there's four. They are literally microscopic. There he goes. See you later, bud. Look how beautiful the coloration on that turtle is. That is beautiful. See ya, bud. Right under all the weeds. You gonna go? You gonna send it? You're a little scared? I got you, here. Boom, there he goes. And all your friends are gone, so what are you doing up here? Let me put you in the water, you'll start swimming. Oh yeah, real quick, gone. He wasn't the sleeper then. Well, there you are, folks. Caferos, all four baby yellow bellies are inside the mini turtle pond that we just custom built. I mean, that is just so cool looking. I put a lot of, a lot, a lot of effort into this one. I mean, I'm drenched. So if you don't mind, drop a like for me. Hit the like button to see more stuff like this. If you think we should get fish for it, comment some fish down below. Obviously, smaller molly, platy, that type of thing. But I've had this in my mind for a while now, and today was the day I just did it. I thought the pool pond was a lot smaller like I mentioned, so now I gotta literally look for the, oh, there's one. There he goes. There's another one right there. We definitely gotta go get more turtles, I'll tell you that, for sure. There's two of them right there, chilling. I left enough gap from the top of this where they could not get out all around the pond because only baby turtles will stay in here once they get big enough, they literally just move over about three inches. It's about time for that one to get remodeled, don't you say? Boats, what are you doing, boats, huh? What are you doing up there, buddy? Where all the chicken poop? All the pigs out here, literally everyone just ate for the afternoon. Our new goat right there. 
guess who's out now too? Buttercup and Rosie have been out for about a week now. They don't stay in the cage at night anymore. They're about that size. And guess who has come out of my house and my room since it was stinking so bad and made its way into our cage out here now. He's pecking my foot, or she, we don't know yet. Hi, Mumble. Hi, you little ducky. You ain't so small no more, right? He still knows exactly who me and Tay are for sure. Look how dirty you are. You been in the mud pit? Look at him under me. You love us. This duck is obsessed with us. But yeah, Mumble's out here living with the pigs and stuff now. You're no longer a little house duck. You got too big on us. We got the little mallard inside, but Mumble is outside now. Right, bud? You're so dirty out here. Let's go in your house. Come on. <laughs> Every time I come in here, right, you're sleeping in the house. Loves to sleep. You beefing with Lulu? You guys are always beefing, I swear. It's these two pigs that beef. You guys beef, huh? Always beefing. Let Lady May sleep, Lulu. What are you doing, Boots? What are you doing, huh? Hey. So yeah, we got a new goat. It's a little afraid of people still, but it was rescued off a gnarly farm. By gnarly, I mean it was literally chained to a fence when Brenton went and picked it up. Chris is the one who uh, surprised me with this goat, made a video on it and everything. But yeah, rescued that goat, so got another goat at the farm. Yeah, I agree. That is unfortunately all I got for you Caparos today. What a day. I'm gonna go chug a thing of ice cold water, shower up, and edit this video. Join the family if you've not done so already, please do. Literally the subscribe button's down below, it's completely free. Follow me on Instagram at Paul Caparo. I love y'all so much, thank you. See you in the next one. Peace out.